I have something I need to talk about. And this will piss people off, but um, what else is new? Our friend Chris Neal over at uh, Clandestine Rage Revealed uh, website, I need to post this link as well, um, put up an article this week regarding the blogger known as Former White Hat. And, gosh, where to even begin with this? Well, I'll begin with the truth. What Chris posted this week in an extensive article basically reveals what he believes to be the identity of the former White Hat. And the former White Hat in this article has been masquerading for a long time. What this guy basically is, is this guy is a slanderer and a libelist. And he has been uh, shifting websites around and basically smearing a lot of people that I'm friends with, including Duncan O'Finian, Miranda Kelly, and Dave Corso, who is the owner of Wolf Spirit Radio, where we are streaming tonight. In this article, Chris Neal, on the website is clandestineragerevealed.wordpress.com, basically outs former White Hat as being Revolution Radio host Michael Hemmingson. In the article, he also connects a number of other people, including Kerry Cassidy of Project Camelot and Lauren Fenton, the promoter of the Super Soldier Summit, who has been basically working for a while now to foist upon us this so-called new generation of super soldiers, so-called MK Ultra subjects. And that would be fine, but the problem with it is that Lauren's not straight up. Um, Michael Hemmingson has a lot of explaining to do based on the evidence that we've amassed, and there have been four of us working on this project. But the greatest blame of all is going to go at the door of Carrie Cassidy because she promoted this asshole. She's been doing it ever since the guy went live. We tracked his website. We tracked when this guy went live with his former White Hat site, and we tracked Carrie's comments posting to it. Carrie Cassidy created former White Hat and the Idlewild group under which he is now posting. He has slandered and he has libeled people who are genuine, proven disclosers of uh, the various government black op projects. And I think it's important for you out there who listen to understand this is the woman who is supposed to be one of the leading voices of the truth movement. Well, this is what Kerry Cassidy has to say about former White Hat. Here's the clip. Um, let me see. <laughs> Someone says I'm a clone. Um, no, I'm not a clone. Uh, but I do understand that the, uh, what do they call him? Uh, the former White Hat, who, you know, is always doing stuff on his blog, he, um, what did he say lately? He said that there was a whole planet full of carry clones, <laughs> which I thought was really fun. Um, I doubt it, but, you know, whatever, you know, this guy wants to think, uh, it's, it's all good. I, I, I don't have a problem with the former White Hat. I, I actually get a kick out of his posts. Um, I think people are, you know, uh, crazy if they take him completely seriously. But I do think he seeds it with truth every once in a while. Um, I, however, am not a clone. Does a clone know it's a clone? Um, you know, that, yeah, do, um, I, do, do, uh, so do, let's say androids dream an electric sleep or do they dream a sheep? Um, you know, I have to say that. Is she on acid or what? She has no problem with a man who has slandered people who came forth as whistleblowers, people like Duncan O'Finian, people like our friend Chris, who has been on his blog for a year. She has no problem. She actually finds this amusing. If you find this amusing, and if you people over at Revolution Radio who air her show, Lorraine Fenton's, and apparently uh, this Michael Hemmings, what is his name again? Michael Hemmingson. I don't even know this guy. If you're going to air him, if you're going to follow him, we are not friends. I have nothing to do with this. The entire alternative media is completely, completely corrupted by these bastards. And it goes down to the very point that if you put a little poison in water, it's still frickin' poison. 
So to Carrie Cassidy, I say you have now been completely laid to shame. You've been confronted with this. You had the evidence a long time ago of what was going on. You're part of the problem, Carrie. Project Camelot is anathema 